Nkatha ya mutongereri ya uandhiguru ni were choruto na edhiritu wa kireja ni riamu ena e kuroba kendi ni akislamu ere edhiritu wa kiugamu tuko juju jure e kuroba baba edhiritu bari na jumono mono jwa kurikia njani untu bubu ega bure kinyabu bati kuidhura burigi tugegeki ega na nkuroki edhiritu we akiromba e kuroba bako rombe la andhiguru ya Kenya ni kenda edhirua irino rumwe na nguata ni rona kinyo kiri. We have had a, a most challenging time when we have had drought and famine in our nation. And the people that have been affected most are the people from Asal areas. And like Stella said, it is the women and children that have been affected. I'm grateful to God that our government has done everything to make sure that no Kenyan dies because of hunger. And through the East Africa Ministry, our CS, uh, Miano Rebecca, and together with the Ministry of Agriculture, and together with the Office of the Deputy President, we've been able to take food to the Asal areas to make sure that no human beings dies because of hunger. My sisters from Northeastern, let us hold our hands, go back to our villages and grow trees, because it is in growing trees that this issue of famine and hunger is going to change. I was sitting here and Sadia tells me that the best food cooks on maca. But you see, this maca is the one that is a product of destroying our forests. That there is no problem with having maca, but then we need to have a strategy where we plant trees, you know, in different stages, so that the ones that mature, we can cut them to do different things, but at least we keep growing trees. Let's go back to our villages and grow trees. There is a saying in English that is a cliche, as many people would say, that says charity begins at home. We cannot shine in the city if we cannot shine at home.